All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning back in. This is Eric with VBAHowTo.com. We're going to talk about creating a table in VBA. So uh, a lot of you may have a question about how to create a table via VBA. We have a, a data definition language, and so we're going to be covering uh, briefly on that. I'm not going to go all in depth on that, but uh, we're going to be creating a table. So the scenario is, uh, or what the objective is, as per our requirements here, to build a table by extracting some fields from a main database. So this is actually from a from an email I got, and so uh, we're going to be building a table from a by extracting some fields from a main database. So picture you have a main database, and you have to place a query to that main database, pull back the information, and then you're going to create a localized table. Why do you do that via VBA? Okay, a lot of flexibility there. So, uh, without further ado, let's go to the form that I have set up here. Uh, this is called, what it's asking is basically for a new table name. And right now I have just a plain customer table. We're going to pretend that table was a link to a mainframe and the customers, ta the customers actually came out of the Northwind database. So. Uh, if you all dig far enough on your machine, you probably find the Northwind database, and you can use this or use it in real life tomorrow. Okay, just make a uh, backup of your database. Try it on a test database. Okay, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and name table name is asking for. So I'm gonna say new info is my new table name. And I'm just extracting. Uh, a few fields for this. This is my mainframe quote quote uh, database table. Again, it has these space in the field names. Kind of indicative to mainframes. are all messed up. Uh, so we're going to deal with how to how to deal with space in field names. So we all we want out of this table is last name, first name, and uh, and we're going to do an address list. So address, city, state, zip. Uh, forget about zip because it's all the same. So address, city, and state. So pretty much five fields. So now new info. I click the button create table. And I get the nifty little message box and table created and data entered successfully. Okay. So where is it? Well, glad you asked. I'm going to press F5 on my keyboard, and I'm not going to see it. So I'm probably going to have to change my views to another view, and then come back to it, come back to tables, and then press F5, and I'll see it. Okay, it's just the way access acts. Kind of finicky. Uh, new info. I double click on it, the my new table, and bang, I have my uh, my new information. And uh, well, that's 29 records. So anyway, I place a query and uh, create a table. So basically, I uh, download database again at vbahowto.com. Vbahowto.com. So how do I go about doing that? Well, whenever I click the button that says create table, um, uh, just creating a basic records then again. If you get the code, you're going to be able to see how all this is done. I'm going to briefly go through this. Uh, first of all, I create a SQL uh, select statement. Okay, select distinct, and I'm just uh, by basic five fields. I'm setting it into a record set. I'm opening the record set. I'm going first and last, or last and first, and getting that total amount of records I have in there. Uh, total number of fields I have in there because so that, that's that's two things I need to know I need to know how many records I have and I need to know how many fields I have and then I'm going to add all my fields to a uh, just a plain string variable okay uh, if one field is going to be this okay and multiple fields are going to be this yeah, did that to you in case you all need some kind of simplistic some of y'all uh, already know 
or have, have seen this before. So, uh, fields name is going to give my field names. And then I'm going to store my values in the table, my table values in an array. And it's a dynamic array. And I'm just going to put uh, read in preserve. And it's going to be the I. It's going to be I, which is just a index index marker. Uh, and I'm just redimensioning this array each time. And I'm storing the values of my array, my five fields. Okay. Uh, what if there's more than five fields? Well, you can put some error checking in there if you want to. Um, but I know I have five, put more fields in there. Okay. Uh, select distinct, whatever. And then I'm going down here, and this is real important. I'm building a custom table based on the names, field names, and array. Okay, create the table. My fields, my records, my number of fields, and my name of my table. Okay, and I'm storing that's a function, a create table function, and I'm putting the result of the function in the status area. And if status is true, uh, message table created that it says that's my nifty little box that popped up and if it's not uh, if it's not successful well I could put you have a big error and uh, make it false <laughs> but I did do that okay you could do that and uh, create table function lots of lots in here okay I'm um, uh, my fields are passing as one row so I'm just using a string variable I have multiple rows of my data, uh, so I'm making a variant. I'm passing in a number of fields, some place that's an integer, and table name is a string. Okay. So again, uh, this is one row. This is multiple rows. That's what, that's the reason I, I opted out for these. Uh, my string, my your fields. I'm using this cool function called split. Uh, there is a, a, a function in PHP called split and also in Python. And anyway, they have one in VBA. And uh, it's really cool. You can take this, now I'm just passing a number of field names in a, as a string delimited by a comma. You can delimit it by anything, really. And you can split it up and then uh, it's your fields is is the array okay uh, pretty neat <clears throat> pretty neat and then here I'm going ahead and testing if the table is, is there if if it is I'm going to drop it if not I'm going to create it okay basically I use the table exists function that's something that I made it's down here at the bottom Drop table, table exists. And it's just using plain uh, data definition languages. You want to select for MMS says. Okay, you can go ahead and look at all that yourself. And uh, blah, 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 down here I'm just doing a little bit of cleanup for our string. <clears throat> and then down here, insert in. Uh, okay, if my error number is zero, I know the table was created. Okay, here I'm. I'm creating the table. At this point, okay. At this point, the table is created. Then my error number should be zero. And if it is zero, go ahead and add the data. If it's not uh, tough, and you're gonna have to put a little box in, uh, your your thing failed. <laughs> That's why I have some error handling at the bottom. Create table false and then the error that pops up so what it lets assume that it was successful and mine was so again I have this little split function and every row of my table data I'm going ahead and splitting the line okay my line item so every row I'm going through for each row, I'm testing the upper bound, the U bound of this array. I'm just passing it down to array. Okay, not not a expensive uh, record set. I'm just passing an array here uh, and a variant. 
And I'm going ahead and each each item in the array, I'm going ahead and splitting each line by line, and then inserting the line into the table. So again, I'm going to just cut this video off right now, and uh, you can go ahead and examine, use it for your, but basically you're going to go ahead and uh, put in, this is really the only change in that make, this, uh, this SQL, this select. Uh, you really don't need to make any changes to the create table. It's pretty much all done for you. But you'll you'll need to make changes to the BT and create table. Uh, it's just asking you for the uh, field name. And then uh, make sure that the fields line up with your, it's your SQL. And this is the pretty, this is from here uh, on down, this is really what you want to be concerned with, okay? Just in case you're watching this saying, oh, I could use this, but I don't know where to start, but really here is where you would, you would uh, make any changes in this uh, BT entry table click. All right, hope that helped. Again, go back to uh, VBA, vbahowto.com. Uh, somewhere down there in the comments box and hopefully it helps out if not uh, if you have some more questions go ahead and email me here or give me a call eric at lobocompservices.com or fill out on the contact form i have a http lobocompservices.com uh, but anyway you can go ahead and get the get the database of the code at vbhowto.com. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.